Hello, everybody, and welcome to Netshook Arts. Today's topic, album review. Today we're going to be talking about a punk band that came out of East L.A. Just to give you a little bit of background, um, you might recall that I'm rebuilding, trying to rebuild my old uh, vinyl collection that I had back in the day of a lot of punk bands and early new waivers. I was lucky enough to come upon this particular album. Um, really, it's more of an EP, but I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. And um, this is a band, as I said, that comes out of East LA. Uh, I feel a little bit of a kinship to them. Slight because I myself came out of East L.A. So we both came from the same streets. Now, just to give you a small bit of background, back in the first wave of L.A. punk, there were basically two scenes that were happening. You had the Hollywood scene, and there was a smaller but equally vibrant punk scene that was happening in East L.A. Some of the bands you may have heard of that came out of there were uh, Los Illegals, uh, The Plugs, um, The Zeros, Young Elvis came out of there. Uh, Elvis is a whole video that we'll have to do one day on our own. He's the Mexican Elvis. <laughs> He's great. But for it to fill in, I'm going to have to find an LP so that we can talk about him. But anyway, getting back to it. This album that I picked up, maybe some of you might be familiar with, The Brat. All right. They had a minor bit of success in the L.A. punk scene back in the day. All right. So I was lucky enough to track down The Brat. And this, as I mentioned, is just a little bit more closer to an EP than an LP. What they have going is all of the songs are packed onto one side of the album. We've got <clears throat> all the songs are on one side and the opposite side is just blank. It's, uh, it's not grooved at all. So you put it on, you play one side and you've got everything that this has to offer. Now, um, just to talk a little bit about the Brat, I love their uh, setup. They are playing classic L.A. punk from those days. Teresa, I don't believe her name is pronounced Teresa because it's spelled Teresa. And so Teresa's the lead singer for them, for the Brat. And I just, I absolutely love her voice. It's like a, a mix between young, Debbie, young Debbie Harry and young Courtney Love. And with a little mix of the East L.A. Flavor, Chicana Flavor thrown in. And so she's got just a great voice that, that is uh, driving this band. Now let's talk about my uh, favorite songs that are on here. Are um, Swift Moves which has a very kind of like a ska kind of groove, a skanky kind of groove to it. I really love it. And she sounds, uh, as I said, that Debbie Harry kind of vibe is really coming through on her vocals on Swift Moves. Um, we get Starry Night, which is my favorite on there. Uh, Starry Night is just um, driving guitars, a driving drum, a classic punk beat, and then you've got um, her vocals, which are um, kind of like, again, I said, like a mix of Courtney Love and Debbie Harry. Throw them into a blender, uh, throw a little bit of chile in there, pour it out, and you've got Teresa's voice. It's beautiful. I love that Starry Night song. And the lyrics are great. Um, it's just wonderful. Um so those are my two favorite songs off of this EP. And something else that I want to show you that's really great that comes with, I was so lucky to get this when I found it, to still have 
the original insert that comes with the EP. This is the original insert, and these are the lyrics of all the songs. Let me get a little closer. There's the band, all right? It's a band and a photo, and here's a close-up. Flip side of the insert, we have the same thing. We have the um, words written out, the lyrics, and we get a little um, Chicanismo in here, a little Azteca thing happening. Now, how about this? How about this? This is lyrics by Teresa. And over here in the bottom, is this it? Look who did the lettering. Lettering by Exine. All right. So this is done. This is all Exine Cervenka from X. Exine, the queen of punk. This is her lettering. So I was so lucky to find the LP that still had the original insert. And so you can see the crossover. As I was mentioning, there was the Hollywood punk scene and there was the East LA punk scene. And they mixed and matched and they occasionally played each other and they shared that musical kinship and that punk kinship of bringing forth that energy of the punk vibe back in the days. And so you have that collaboration with x -Scene and The Brat. Really great EP if you find it. Rabbit. Attitudes. The Brat. Thanks for watching. Netshook Arts. I'll see you next time. Please like. Subscribe. Peace.